So it's been really busy lately, but I just wanted to make sure I got a little update of some of the things that were growing here. Some of these little native things that are just, uh, to me, super interesting. This is uh, Plagial Bothries. However you want to say that, I don't care. I'm just guessing here. Uh, Plagial Bothries Nothofulvus. They call it the rusty popcorn flower. And it's got some really interesting little red colorations down there. You see in the, sort of in the middle of that rosette, this kind of red veiny things. I'm guessing that's why they call it rusty popcorn flower, but it's in the Baraginaceae family, so it's got all those little hairs, and it's just, they're just starting to shoot up a little inflorescence here. You can just see that little stem covered in, in the hairs there. And these, these smell great when they're in bloom, and I'm really excited for these to start going off here. This is uh, in amongst some colomias, and there's some camas here, which this is uh, just starting, the, the inflorescence is like just starting to emerge way down in the base there. They're a little later than some of the others that are going off right now. Um, but yeah, these, these popcorn flowers I'm pretty excited about. This is a, it's a really big one here. And uh, next to these, we're growing these saxifrage. Uh, this is my Cranthes oregana. And it's, yeah, it's sending up its little inflorescences. These actually tend to grow in places that get really wet, uh, often standing water in the winter time. So we're just kind of experimenting with them here. They seem to be doing okay. They went dormant in the summer last year and have come back. So uh, they seem to be doing all right, even though they're not getting submerged in a vernal pool type environment. So. And they'll start blooming here. I'll see how they do. Here's a pot of nettles, and here's uh, Lomatium dissectum, which doesn't look like it's going to bloom this year, but I love the Lomatiums. This is the main area, which is uh, just uh, full, chock full of stuff. It looks, it looks kind of messy. To me, it looks kind of amazing. This is just like trying to mimic a, a prairie meadow type habitat here. The uh, Dicolostoma are really getting big. And next to them we have Brodea, which they are, I guess, they're not looking quite as big as, as the Dicolostoma are, but I mean, I've never grown them before, so I don't know what, what that means. Uh, I know that these guys get a big, you know, single flower, and these, these get kind of more of a clump, so it'll be interesting to see what they look like, uh, and it's been fun to watch them growing and what they look like at all their different stages. I really like the kind of bluish, kind of magenta color that these guys have, especially when they first are emerging, and kind of on the tips there, the Dicolostoma. We've got Gilia capitata starting to shoot up. We're starting to shoot up an inflorescence here, and of course all the Facelia heterophylla. And tons of Clarkia. And then the buttercups have been going off. The Ranunculus occidentalis. And a big old Sedalcia back there and a big old Lupinus ribularis back there. And, and there's Camus going off way back there. There's Camus scattered all through here, and Madia elegans, and more Camus, which is just about to start going off. And there's, uh, there's, there's tons of stuff, tons of difference. I can't even, can't even think of it all off the top of my head right now, but uh, this nice Delphinium menziesii, which, I only remember being there because of the tag. So, you can see the leaves there. Anyway, uh, what else we got? This is a pretty much exclusively vernal pool plant. Uh, the other species of Plagial Bothries uh, figuratus. This is the, they call it the fragrant popcorn flower, but I think they're all pretty fragrant. Uh, again, these aren't growing in a vernal pool. 
um, but they seem to be doing just fine. So these uh, have much more linear leaves, but they still got some of the hairs and things growing on them. So we need to see how those do. For whatever reason, the Areophyllum lanatum that I have, has, it, it blooms way earlier than than they typically do, uh, which is fine. I, it's cool. They, they get a really long bloom season, the, but it's usually another month until they really start going off out in the wild. But yeah, they're just, you just stick these little twigs in the ground that break off and you just spread them around that way. They're, they're really nice and quite, quite ornamental. And a little mushroom. There's a huge clump of that Areophyllum. Fritillaria is about to bloom. I've got Lanicera hispidula growing up the fence here and tons of these old uh, flowering currants and they just kind of go along down the line here. I've got more stuff but my phone's about to run out of space so I'll have to save it for the next time.